Hi, this is McCoy Buck, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to animate the ball that is made of bones. Now, it's gonna be really sim similar to the ball one that we had animated, so go ahead and click on ball two. Now, with ball two selected, you're gonna see that it has the two bones there. If you're already familiar with rigging, you know that this is the root bone, uh, and this is the bone that's gonna be controlling the ball. So if you're not familiar with rigging, be sure and check out my rigging course where I do explain this in more detail. So we know with root bones that they are the main thing that's gonna be translating the ball around. So go ahead and select your root bone till it's red and come to frame one. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a keyframe for the bone that we had selected. So to do that, we're either going to come here to our transform bone tool and click on the reset, or with that transform bone tool selected, we can just click on the part right here where the bone has little crosshairs. This lets me know I can translate it. Halfway, it lets me know I can rotate it. And at the end of this, with this little point right here, it lets me know that I can scale it. So what I wanna do is I wanna translate it. So I'm just simply just gonna click. And as you can see there, it's gonna give me the, the keyframe letting me know that the translation has been marked. However, I can also come up here with this bone selected, come up here to the position and do the same thing like we did with the layer and it can create that keyframe. Now with that keyframe created, we're gonna go from frame one. Again, we're gonna follow this path of this ball. So we're gonna match its height. So I'm gonna come here to the root bone and I'm just gonna hold down my shift button, click up and drag. And as you can see, it's going to drag up just like I did it at the other one. And just like what we did before, I can either copy the keyframe to frame 24 or I can hit reset. So I'll just go ahead and hit reset in this example. All right, now go ahead and play out the animation. And now you can see we had created an animation for the ball on the left just using the layer translation. And we use the ball on the right using the bone translation. Now in the next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit more with the balls here as far as the shape and we're gonna be talking about animation channels and how those are used. 